guys, sorry for Alka, that was really weird and terrible, but today I'm here with some really big tag, and it's a tag I create myself because I'm so original, yes! But if you don't know already, I am obsessed with a band called Samarelli, 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 I'm in love with a film, honestly, and I love her fame so much, and I have heard of a Taylor Swift book tag, where titles of her songs are kind of created into questions about books, and I was like, Oh, what is my Samarelli? Because I love her so much. This is my own original tag because I'm so cool. I make my own things all the time. But yeah, this is a Samarelli book tag because I'm obsessed. I love them and I really hope you guys enjoy this. There'll be a lot of singing in this video. <laughs> Beware. Beware. By the way, I don't have any YouTube friends tag because nobody likes me. But please, if you like Samarelli, please do this tag. If you like Samarelli and books or whatever, even if you just like books, Please do this tag because I love to spread it around. And what if one day they saw this tag? I would just be shocked and fangirling and um, dead. So, yeah, let's continue. Let's do this. First of all, Up at Night. A book that I kept you up at night reading because you couldn't put it down. And this book is Project Popularity by Mel the Book Addict. This is a Wattpad story and I will link it in below. I haven't even finished that story. Since that night, I've not been as obsessed with it. But for some reason, one night, I couldn't stop reading that book and I was reading it till six o'clock in the morning and I had something important going on the next day which I had to skip because I stayed up six in the morning reading that freaking book like I don't know what it was but I was up all night reading it I was so obsessed and that was just one of the books it's like a Wattpad story but it's the only Wattpad story I swear that I actually do read proper books but Wattpad story are proper books I don't know but uh, you know what anyway there's a book that kept me reading up keeping me up and I Okay, next one is All My Friends Say, a book that you read because all your friends told you to. Well, this is a book that doesn't kind of count because it's a book that I'm going to read, that I'm planning to read at some point because my friend is adamant that I do. She really is obsessed and she keeps saying, Natalie, you need to read this book, Natalie, you need to read this book, like she won't leave it alone. And that is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven, I'm pretty sure her name is. But yes, my friend is obsessed with All the Bright Places. She loved it so much. She cried so much, no spoilers, because I don't even know what she cried at. I don't know if it's going to be bad. And she is so adamant that I read that book, so that's going to be a book that I will read because my friend has recommended it. I don't know if one of my friends who actually reads books, so this is going to be a hard one for me. Cause I'm a mess, and how you? There's no way out of this, and you know exactly what you do. Anyway, let's just, um, I'm a mess. A book that had tears shooting down your face and left you in a mess. Now for this one, it is definitely Friends Forever by Daniel Steele. It wasn't just one point for this book that I was crying and sobbing in tears. Throughout different parts, I kept breaking down and crying. It was all the way through the book that I cried at different parts. It wasn't just one significant event or something cute or sad happened or whatever. It was all through the book. I kept crying at different things happening. Now, I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to give anything away. I'm not clarifying if it was happy tears or if it was sad tears, but this book will definitely have you reaching for the tissues guys and this is so good I get a 5 out of 5 um, Friends Forever by Daniel Steele is definitely something that I sobbed to <sighs> my heart just give me a second just give me a second <laughs> worth a fight a book you struggled to get through at times because you weren't enjoying it but in the end it proved to be worth the fight you might be surprised to know this as this book if you know me right now but it's double cross by Mallory blackman now if you know me at all you know i'm obsessed with the knots and crosses series and this is the last book in the series by Mallory blackman i struggled to get this written start and I, because i really wasn't in the mood for this book i wasn't into it i was trying to read it and trying to pick it up but i just couldn't get into this book and eventually i just left sitting around for ages and i knew i should return it to a library because I was never going to get around to it. I just wasn't feeling it in the first book. So I was just struggling with it. But one day I saw this in a charity shop and I knew instantly that I had to buy it. And as soon as I bought it, I sat down and I was flying through it as I got through it so fast, man, so fast. And in the end, it definitely proved to be worth the fight, of course, because by Mallory Blackman, duh, it's in the Knots of Cross series, duh. And I thoroughly enjoyed this and I loved it so much. And this is the last book in the series and I want to cry. 5 out of 5, this was definitely worth my fight. I may have struggled with you sometimes and I may have put you back and returned you to the library but I bought you and I read you at last and we have this bond that nobody will ever be able to be able to replicate. You mean everything to me but you mean everything. You were worth the fight, yeah, 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 yeah. it was worth it. Move on, a book you really should 
really good to move on from and accept it was over. Daughters of Fortune by Tara Highland. I love this book so much and it's so big and just so much happens in it. It's such an amazing book. I once done a book review in it and it was 11 minutes and I don't know how I never got uploaded and I don't know where the fetch is never. If I ever find it, I'll probably upload this book review. But this is 5 out of 5. I love this book so much and I feel like for every book, once it's over, you just kind of have to struggle with the fact like, oh no, the story's ending. We're leaving this world. We're leaving the characters and everything behind. I mean, this was just one of the books that I was really sad just to leave and to move on to the next book and, you know, because I love this book so much. It's really good and I really recommend you pick it up Daughters of Fortune by Tara Highland. Unsaid Things, a book that I finished with so many unanswered questions. We hate those kind of books that end with a cliffhanger and there's never a next book in the series and there's never anything left to explain what the heck is going on. Now this one, I feel a lot of you can relate with me on this one, is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Oh my goodness, the last freaking page for goodness sake, never mind the whole book. What was that? I was just so, I'm not giving away any spoilers, okay, but I was just so confused and what and my feelings and I just couldn't put my thoughts into words. I was honestly astounded. I was looking it up. I was looking it up. What does this mean? Eleanor Park for ending, blah, blah, blah. What's going on? But like, I was looking it up because I was so confused to what was going on. I was just like, what? What is, what is this? What is, what is this? Like, I, I, I was struggling with the fact that it was over and I would never get a clarified answer or that there was not a sequel to it. This is it. The book just answered, no, it finished like this and it just really got me frustrated and I couldn't handle it and it was just so confusing for me. If you read Eleanor Park, you know exactly what I'm talking about. No, no um, giveaways, no um, spoilers for anyone. But what was that ending? Seriously, what? What did, it, what did it mean? What did it mean? I'm crying right now. Honestly, honestly guys, you get me, you get me. You got me good. A book that you didn't think you'd like that much, but you took comple you completely by surprise when you ended up loving it. Now this book for me was The Colour of Death by Michael Cordy. Now I was trying to expand my book taste and trying to get out of the box and read more things, not just teenage kind of fiction. And this book is like a crime fiction kind of book, you know, stuff that I wouldn't really be into, but I bought this thinking to myself, you know what Natalie, you've got to read more books like this, you've got to get more into this kind of crime genre. And this is the only crime book I've read. I don't know why, because this is five out of five amazing i love this i cried i felt the emotions i was obsessed i kept reading and reading it i don't know why i have some more crime books myself that i haven't read yet i don't know why i haven't read more crime because i love this so much and it was amazing and i need to read more yeah i don't buy crime books because i'm not attracted to them and the way they're described um but i love this one so i'm probably gonna love more crime books you know what i mean i need to read more crime books but the color of death by michael cordy Please buy this. It's so amazing. Like, honestly, I don't know why I haven't done a review on all these books I seem to love in this freaking video, but this book got me good. It got me good. Uh oh. I don't need money in my pocket. Diamonds on my neck. The time I stand with you, I know I'll never forget. And that's why I love my violin. Like, I love my violin. You make me feel. Do -do -do -do. Okay, I can't really do it, but I love my violin in that song. Playing box. The book that costs you the most on your bookshelf. Now, I don't know which is the most expensive book, but the book that costs me the most on my bookshelf was Girl Online on Tour by Zoe Sugg. I don't know, I was in Asda, I was looking for some books to buy. I had six pounds, and yes, my most expensive book was six pounds. I'm so cheap in general. I get all my books from charity shops, but I was in Asda, and I saw this, it was like six pounds. I thought, you know, why not get this book? It's new out. I did like the first book, I gave it like three or five. I actually have a review on the first book, so if you want to see it, I'll link it down below. If you want to review this book, maybe I'll do it like just if you want to request it. This book was 3 out of 5 too for me personally. Like it was okay. It wasn't the best book ever. It's a light read if you want to have a light read. But this was definitely my most expensive book in a bookshelf and I really think it's pretty nice. So I enjoy having this book to have my bookshelf like yay. Which book almost got but wasn't quite good enough for a five star rating is matched by all Ali Condé. Now I really really enjoyed this book. I loved it. It's great. The whole government is society and this dystopian world. And I've really been getting into dystopian books recently. I've been really enjoying them. And I really enjoyed this, this whole concept of this book. But for some reason I couldn't quite give it a five star. This wasn't the greatest, best, like five star worthy book that in my opinion, I don't know, in my opinion I thought four stars it was really quite good but it's not quite good enough for five stars. I don't know why I just couldn't give it that five, you know, I think I give it five stars quite generously, I don't know, but I, no, I tried to be specific with my ratings, and this one, 
oh almost but wasn't quite like this is a four like this book to me is just a four it doesn't go further than a four and that's just it this i really do recommend this book especially the whole society and the world this is is great and the characters and everything i just I almost got a five but for me it just wasn't or something missing i don't know what it was but it wasn't quite a five but this book is really good so you need to get it the last book and um, question is is it that easy to forget me <laughs> Anyway, easy to forget me. A book which is alright but won't be sticking around in your memory for long. And this was for me size 12 is not fat by Meg Cabot. This was a good book for my reader, I enjoyed it. Maybe three or five, it was a good book. But after that, that's it. You know, I'm not obsessed with this book. I don't really remember it or care about this book. This isn't a book that I'm partially going to be speaking about in my videos like Mallory Blackman's book, like I always do. Not so cross as well. This book is okay. I don't really care about this book you know i enjoyed it when i read it it's fine that's it nothing really from it i mean i started reading size 14 is not far either but you know i didn't really care enough to continue it it's from a school's library i didn't really have the motivation like it's an okay but that was it um not i don't really care about it now it's just on my bookshelf and i've forgotten about not really important to me i don't the grading this right or, or this book it is in my opinion that's just it was a book, it was a good book, that was it, that's all it is to me, and that's what it is. That was it. Say more, TikTok. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. There will be more book videos in the future because I love books. I really want to make videos about them. That won't be all of my content. Trust me, this is not a book channel or anything, but we will be here and there a book video, which you've probably noticed in my channel. So I really hope you guys don't mind. I just love books, and this, I want to create content for a variety of things. And even if you don't know me or whatever, blah, 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 like this is my first video stumbled upon, please do this talk. <laughs> so we really want to spread this around. Maybe some really might see it one day. I don't know. Um, this will never be spread about. Let's be real for a second. I mean, come on. And no one else will want to do this. But I'm really proud of making up this tag. I'm really proud of myself. I'm so vain. But yes, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next week for my next video. And I'll see you later. Goodbye. Have a good day. See ya. And subscribe. Oh gosh, this looks a bit slanted now. For goodness sake. Oh for goodness sake. I feel like I'm mumbling a lot and you can't understand me. I hope when I edit this I can understand what I'm saying myself. We should do a count. Like I should do a count of how many times I've mentioned that in this video. And let's just see what number we're at right now. I mean I'm being so dramatic about it. It's only like two times I've mentioned it, but still. You're the match to my cheese, the jump to my bee, the covers to my feet. If you are great, you'll be A plus. <laughs> so yes, 